Good afternoon. Um, so I'm just <laughs> clearing my face a bit, you know, stuff happens. All right, um, let me start over. Hi, how are you doing? Um, today we're gonna to talk about the best, most rewarding relationship of all. Dun, dun, dun. It's always surprising. Um, in case you haven't been following my broadcast and I'll tell you at the reverse, at the back end of where you can find my previous broadcast because I covered for the last four days, the four most powerful, not most powerful, but four recommended steps to set up your year the right way, which is actually the lead into my introduction to my new program, which I'll tell you about also at the back end, instead of resolutions. But today I thought I'd just change it up a bit. So today I'm talking about the most rewarding relationship of all. You may already know what I'm going to talk about, but I can explain it anyway because it came up in conversation three times today. Three times today. Two different people, one is a cafe this morning, and then a friend of mine was on the phone with today. All three times, I sort of came back to the same thing again which I know is the truth, and it's what I'm so focused about moving toward teaching now this year. In fact, that's one reason why two of the conversations started, because they asked me what was going on in my work, and I started talking to them, and they said, yeah, that's the most important thing, and the most rewarding thing. So I figured, that's my topic today. So, um, I'm deciding if I'm leaving in suspense or not, I'll just jump right into it. So I got that, this, let me just jump right in. So the most, and this is gonna be so obvious, so some of you, some of it's like, what? The most rewarding relationship of all, is the one you have with yourself. Dan, dan, dan. Yeah, I did that again already. <laughs> you know what, me? I'll just sign off now. You've got the information, I can walk away. No, actually, let me tell you a bit more. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine, to one of my friends this morning um, at Agape, my spiritual center, and talking about my work and how it's been evolving over the last several months, actually. You know, I've been relationship-centric coaching for quite a long time, and I've got a lot of things talking about relationships still, because so much of it is still important to teach and share and inspire. However, what I've become clear about working with my clients and what I've been talking about in my Facebook lives, if you've been following me, and I'll tell you where you can follow them, it's always about relationship with self first. Every single time stuff comes up, it's about us. If I reference um, projections, especially, or the four agreements, as another example, there's so many different teachings out there that talk about how it's important for us to take care of ourselves. Like the four agreements, like don't take anything personally, be impeccable with your word. Those two alone, can change your life if you live by those as mantras, as teachings. Because as Eleanor Roosevelt said, I was quoted as saying, what you think of is none of my business. So all that stuff we put out there is really about what's in here. So all your relationships out there, all of your, um, what's we're looking for? All of your relationships with your, with your lover, with your family, with your coworkers, with your bosses, with your Uber driver, are all, yes, I can say this dramatically, are all projections of relationship with yourself. Sit with that one for a second. What I'm talking about specifically, though, is how we respond and react to things out there, which 90% of the time are nothing to do with what's happening out there. It's all in here. Now, there's a, there's a sense of over-responsibility some people are going to think about going, this is too much, too much. I understand that. But I want to make this clear that when you are in a place where you get well, first of all, let's start with the simplest stuff. <laughs> the simplest stuff. When you get triggered, pissed off, upset, angry, frightened, uh, reactive, all these different things, and hey, Huntley, good to see you. Thanks for being on broadcast. Thanks for the love. Um, if, you, if you are in a place where you react to those things, first of all, that makes you out of control because you reacted versus choosing it. If you choose to get angry, it's a different piece. I'm mean, going to get to that in a little bit later on. But frankly, if you're reacting to other people's stuff, that puts you in a victim role because you're out of control. Well, in fact, what's happening is their upset is causing your reaction. Their, excuse me, actually their actions are causing your upset. I'll do the wrong way around for a second. Which means that your ability to have autonomy is gone, vaporized, if you are choosing to be reactive all the time. So being reactive is not healthy for you. It doesn't matter about anybody else, for you. I mean, yes your upset may affect other people. But first of all, it affects yourself because you're losing control of your own self-esteem, self-autonomy. And I'm not talking also about being like stoic and together. And I got accused of that a lot of times in trainings I was in because being English and reserved, I didn't express myself very much. So people thought I was very, very, um, what's the word looking for? Um, I was very, stoic is the right word. Um, so what are they used? Well, it's like stiff upper lip type things. Very like, you know, um, unemotional type thing. The reality was though, is that's not what I'm talking about either in this context. What I'm talking about is how you handle stuff when it hits you, emotionally speaking. 
When somebody does something that pisses you off, maybe it's your partner, maybe it's your mother, father, son, daughter, sibling, relative, co-worker, employer, any of those things, ask yourself this question. What is it about what they're doing or saying that I'm letting myself get upset about? Because if you do that, that simple question, you'll change everything. The reason being is because you've stopped reacting without thinking, you also stop reacting without reasoning. What you're doing is actually is stopping yourself internally. You don't say it out loud, this is for you personally. But if you internally go, what is it what what is it about what's happening out there that's upsetting me? Why am I upset by that? Because when you start asking the questions internally, you might just get an answer. And when you do get the answer, you can then choose differently because when you get the answer, because it's like, um, I feel out of control or I feel like they're taking advantage of me or I feel like whatever it is, those reasons, things that are true for you, not about them, but about yourself. When you start to realize what it is that is being fueled or triggered by that, or I should say is trigger that's causing the emotional upset inside of you, then you have the first step towards autonomy. You have the first step towards taking your power back and you have the first step towards no longer being a victim. The next step after that is to change things because what's happening is you may have this happening many, many times over, especially with relationships with family because you've had a long history with them. So that upset that you've been continually being pushed, your buttons being pushed, the same, I mean, you know this one, when you're with certain people, they know to push your buttons every single time. That's a clue right there that maybe there's something you're doing by automatic default, which is reactive and not healthy. Because when they push that button, you react. It's almost like pushing buttons on a... Um, well, pushing, pushing keys on a piano. When you push buttons, keys on a piano, you get a sound back. The piano doesn't have any control over that. You're controlling that. So when someone pushes your buttons, they're going to get a reaction from you. Again, you're not in control of that. They are, unless you choose to take it back. Because when you forget to, in a way, when I say they win, but you don't. So remembering yourself that you have autonomy to respond the right way is a powerful place to own, take ownership again. So the reason why I say it's the most rewarding relationship of all, I was going to say it's the most challenging relationship of all too, because we are so on, we are so much of our our egos and our consciousness is on autopilot. So there's nobody home. <laughs> it's like nobody in there. So to take charge of that, to take a clear and active role in watching how you respond to the world, it's almost like you are your own co-pilot. So you're in the world doing stuff and stuff and part of it is watching, observing what's happening. And when you get knocked out of center or out of whack or upset, the other part of it goes, that's interesting. Why is that happening? Now, I've actually done this in my own life with trainings I was in where we got to witness, well, like we have witness consciousness of our own stuff. Or should they witness consciousness of our own personality? It's an interesting thing because first of all, the fact there's more than one part of ourselves is like, that's freaky. But the truth is, it's very freeing because we start to realize that the part that's reacting is just a part of you, not all of you. You can say, hang a second, that part I'm put to the side. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to deal with that differently. Because when you let that part keep running the show, reacting all the time, you're playing much smaller than who you really are. When you have your power back, or I should say when you remember you have the power to say, you know what, I'm not going to do that. Then that part no longer has control. The bigger part of you does. And that's when you can start making some method of changes. This is only, I mean, this is a cornerstone of how to transform your life and also how to transform all your relationships because one thing is when you do this your own relationship with yourself changes because you're no longer letting a small part of yourself the upset reactive trigger happy part react you're letting the larger part of yourself become present and choose to respond how you want to because the response is different from reaction response is chosen reaction isn't just to be clear the second part is that when you do that what happens on the society effect is all the other relationships out there change too now, just to be clear, some of those relationships are going to go away. Yes, they're going to go away. Meaning those people who have been um, happy with berating you, happy with upsetting you, happy with making you the ones, the victim of their, their choices, won't have leverage anymore. So for some of those people, they're just going to go away because they've lost the ability to control you. And the only reason to be with you is because they could control you. So when you, when you no longer give them that... Um, ability that that responsibility that opportunity opportunity is a better word then they have nothing to hold on to and they'll leave and i've had that in my life where relationships have gone away completely because they didn't know so they didn't have control over me anymore so once you start having autonomy back those relationships will disappear thank god second thing is 
the other relationships you have in your life that maybe have fallen into that default place of, of one up, one down and, and leverage and upset and, and that sort of thing will have to be raised, will be raised up because you don't play the game anymore and they'll step up and go, oh, hang on a second. You actually by reflect, by um, not reflection, well, reflection, but by demonstration, even though we're saying it, by you doing that, they will change too. And this is one of the good things about healthy relationships is when you start to step up, others will step up with you. And that will raise the bar in all your relationships around you. Again, relationship can be romantic, family, business, any sort of relationship can transform when you change the one inside yourself. So the most rewarding relationship of all really is the one inside yourself because the one inside of you is like the it's like the ring to run ring ring to what's the um thing of all the rings. One ring to rule them all. When you held the relationship inside yourself, it's the one relationship to handle all the relationships out there. Only there's no price to pay. There's only goodness out of this. The, well, the, only, the only price is you lose some of the relationships you don't want to be in. How's that for, for reward? So this, this is a, I mean, this is like a short talk to explain a much bigger, bigger topic. But if you get this point and you start to do the work to change it, you're so far ahead of the game. This is a, this is, this is a key to freedom because you're no longer on the puppet strings of other people and you know what that feels like those people who basically say things that get under your skin or they're people that trigger you or people that get things from you because you don't know to say no when you start to understand you have autonomy you respond a whole lot differently this is my this my friend is, my, is, a, is a key to freedom a transformational key that will change your life and the lives of those around you by a ripple effect but it starts with you you do in fact have the most um, wonderful and the most important relationship of your life in your own hands. The question is, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to have some, I have some suggestions for you, in fact, of what to do with it. Um, a couple of invitations. Because two things I'm going to talk about are actually, or two things I recommend to you, are designed to facilitate and support you in having more self support, self respect, self love, and, and self success for want of a better word. So understanding these pieces, and this is one piece of the puzzle, there's plenty of others do it too, will change your life. I've, I've, as I said before, I did four talks yesterday, yesterday. I did four talks over the last four days talking about the four components that will replace resolutions, have you have what you want in your life, period. This is a different aspect, but it's the same thing. It's a relationship with yourself. So what I was talking about in the last four days and this are part of the new course I'm offering, the new masterclass I'm offering, because it is fundamentally about changing the relationship you have with yourself and changing the way you live in the world so that your life transforms completely. That's an opportunity to check out. In the comments, I'll put the link in the comments, which is, um, is for my, it's called BFF, which is Balance, Freedom and Flow. The side effect is you have the best, freedom, best friend forever, which is yourself. That's why it's BFF, it's double use. Catchy, isn't it? So if you go to barryselby.com forward slash BFF, you can check it out. I'll put the link in the comments so you can check it out for yourself. Second thing I'm gonna give you as a reminder is it sometimes feels like you don't get a chance to take care of yourself to actually get your own way back again. You feel like you're so much on the puppet strings of other people, you don't know to find your way back. I recommend to a friend of mine over New Year's that one of the best things you can do is to practice simple steps to love yourself. I have a guided meditation um, package, two, two guided meditations with a guidebook, guided meditation guidebook, yeah, with these guides, on self-love that will help you transform your relationship with yourself because it's a matter of the practice of doing it every day. It's a 30-day um, journey. You do this every day for 30 days, your relationship with yourself will transform as well. So do what I said in this talk and do that together. Those two things alone will guarantee to change your life dramatically for the future. If you're interested in that, I recommend you check it out. So both those links are in the comments. That's barrysilver.com forward slash self-love. And I'll put the link in the comments so you can check it out. These two things I'm very passionate about, or I should say the whole thing I'm passionate about, is loving yourself first. All the work I've done with relationships over the last 10 years I always come back to relationship with yourself first so then love other people. And if you learn how to do this well, every single relationship around you will improve, will transform, will change for the better. And you'll meet better people going forward as well. That is a win in my book. So with that, I thank you for watching. Um, that is kind of what I want to talk about today. That will hopefully give you some inspiration to think about, some things to ponder and take this to heart. If you have any questions about this, please put in the comments below because this is a, can be a touchy topic, I understand. But I want to make sure you got this because it, it's a game changer for some people. Maybe not you, maybe you've already handled this. But a lot, for a lot of people out, this is a game changer. So 
maybe you want to share this with them perhaps if you know somebody's going through this challenge they might want to watch this to get some value themselves um, as I mentioned there's gonna be two links in the comments my BFF course at which is my masterclass starts up shortly and my uh, guided meditation self-love meditation um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before as I mentioned I did do four over the last four days since the news about replacing resolutions with something better I recommend you watch those as well because that will change your life they're all about changing your life um, tell me what you want so if you go to my well you can watch me well let me first of all start off by saying this is my daily Facebook live I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page on Facebook join me every day tune in have a watch get involved ask questions comment etc etc that'd be wonderful if you're watching the replays because you haven't caught me live you can watch them on my business page on Facebook oh sorry my personal page on Facebook is Barry Selby duh at facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby my business page which is Barry Selby author has all the replays on it however Facebook doesn't show them all so you can like my page please and you can watch stuff on there there's a lot of things I post on there as well which are more business centric and, and, and my business centric alternatively I recommend you check out my YouTube channel if you go to youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby there's a playlist on there called messages for the masculine please subscribe to my channel by the way but the playlist messages for the masculine is every single one of them in I've made sure of that and you can find them there because YouTube is all about video so it works and you can search through by keyword titles whatever you want and you can find what you're looking for there's tons of content out there 940 plus talks about love and relationships about self-support about new year's resolutions and more out there so i recommend again you watch the last four before this and this one as well because they will help you have a more powerful and exciting and successful year going forward so with that i thank you for watching i appreciate being with me as always and if you have any questions comments please let me know in the comments below again i'll put two links in the comments for you to check out the bff and self-love and please take a look at them if this sings out to you if this reckon if this resonates for you take a step forward take an action step and sign up one of those two with that i thank you for watching i appreciate being with me as always um join me again tomorrow 5 p.m pacific time for another topic another talk maybe about back to resolutions we'll see but certainly about something that will help you have your better life and enjoy your life more and uh with that i invite you once again as always please take care of yourself i'll see you again tomorrow bye